done it before. Line them up, shoot them down. Good morning fellow gaming nerds, welcome to the Whiplash Hell channel. Uh, today we are starting a new series, I am calling it Joe Testing Builds. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am I do play the staging branch of Jaws of Extinction. Um, I do quite a bit of restarts because of the constant changing s state of this game. Uh, the developers work pretty damn hard on keeping things up to date and changing things and adding new stuff and so on and so forth. Uh, so I'm probably going to let this series ride for quite some time because uh, I'll probably be doing many restarts. So I'm going to try to address the beginning a little bit different every time because of it. Uh, so I just wanted to let you all know this is going to be uh, uh, day one or episode one, however you want to look at it. So uh, here we go. I just started a new game. And uh, let's rock this place. Uh, first of all, first person point of view. And uh, I don't hear no bees. That's good. <laughs> Uh-oh. No gun? What in a Sam? Oh, whew. man. I thought for about half a second they got rid of my gun. I need that gun. Picked up the uh, night vision goggles. They're usually right here. I, I, I don't utilize the night vision goggles. Some people may. Let's see. I, it, it's not a personal preference to me. Uh-oh. I'm here. Maybe I'll find something useful. What's in here? Tracking your vitals in current location. I know you're probably disoriented, but you need to find your way to the city. Okay, Sheriff Sin, thank you. Man, he's he's gotten a little long-winded. This is new. Uh, I've never seen this before. Uh, world pickups. A lot of items in the world will allow you to pick them up. These normally have a shimmer effect on them to notify you that they can be interacted with. Placing your screen cursor dot over the item and pressing the F key. Sometimes you got to go up or down. But they are right. We'll add them to your inventory if there is uh, space. I guess you can just hit F. I use what? What do I use? I think I do hit F, but it opens up my tab. Uh, anyway, uh, condition overview. The three main bars are armor, health, and stamina. Uh, the main thing to know about these bars is the different conditions of health and stamina. Both these bars have overlay bars, and the brightness being the main vital, with a faded version that will show the maximum. Uh, this bar can reach displayed as well being as uh, displayed as well being as max health and energy as max stamina. Trying to think, I know that that, that Whiplash's light bulb it's it's flickering. It's not it's not really fully bright right now, but. This makes sense. Armor level, armor damage, health level, and well-being. But to me, well-being is should be the whole thing, not just half. Uh, 
well-being is your overall, to me, in my opinion, I mean, is your overall health. Okay, that makes sense to me. So I, I think that's what it means. Stamina level and energy level. Stamina level, uh, I would say that's the whole damn thing, but the energy levels only goes up to the total portion of your bar. You, you have, this is like your max amount, but this grayed out part means you are drained and need to replenish. So, that makes sense. Okay, weapon hood. Uh, when picking up a weapon, if no weapon is currently equipped of that type, your character will automatically equip it to the relevant weapon slot. One primary, two secondary, or sidearm, three melee, or tool. Finally, special weapon like a bow. Uh, these can be selected via the corresponding number on your keyboard or using the digital pad on a controller. Ooh, what? There's a next button. Lootable containers. Containers will have a shimmer to them as you get closer. When you focus on them, they will light up in a particular color. Uh, green, the container has not been looted, and red, this container has already been looted. There are also two ways of taking the contents of a container, tapping the action button F to open the container, or holding the action to automatically take all its contents. I knew that, but I'm the kind of person, I know everybody notices every time I loot stuff, it, you know, the menu pops up or my, my inventory pops up, but um, I knew that was there, I've just never utilized it, because I kind of like to see what's in there, especially if you're focusing on weight, and in the very beginning, you want to focus on your weight. Um, right now, I don't think heat and cold are a major concern, I'm, they will be, trust me, they will be. Uh, I'm sure the developers are working on that, but right now my main concern when I first start out is weight. So I'm constantly opening it up and making sure I get what I need and tossing out what I don't need. Resources laying around the world come in all shapes and form from tin, tins and cans to the floor used for scrap metal, sticks and stones for natural resources to birds nests and beehives for hidden little gems like eggs and feathers honey and more using the same color system as lootable containers once a resource is depleted it will glow red indicating that no more resources can be gathered from this item cool foliage resource and cover not all foliage or resource uh, items glow as some have other uses like cover and camouflage crouching down in bushes reeds or brambles can provide a valuable source of camouflage especially from the infected as well as being har uh, harvestable for natural fibers and berries. Whiplash, it doesn't crouch. Unless I'm trying to sneak up on something. And you'll see that here in a moment. I ain't messing with the bees. Last time I messed with the bees, they followed me to my death and back through. And they even went underwater. <laughs> I think the developers fixed that, but uh, I have no use for the bees at the moment. That'll come at a later time and date. Okay, what it says, welcome to Hennington Fishing Village. I'm not at the village. I'm at the lighthouse. Uh, I noticed we did not get a, a flak vest. Last few times I've started, I've got a flak vest right off the get-go. So we're going to have to be careful on how we get hit. We're definitely going to need to make some bandages. Um, or find some bandages. Uh, usually first thing I do is go to the lighthouse. I know everybody probably gets tired of me doing the same darn thing all the time. Is it me or is Amy like flying? I mean, she's like super fast today. Yeah. Lighthouse has got some good stuff in it. Uh, I usually hit this up first. Oh, glass. What? Uh oh, now that's scary. Because if there's broken glass, that means... That reminds me of seven days to die that usually wakes up the zombies. So should we be careful? There's glass, but there's no darn windows. So what is it? Somebody broke a vase instead of a window? I don't know, but that's kind of scary. Is that a compass? I think that's a compass. Oh no, it looks like a compass. I know that's strange. It's the back end of this light. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought it was kind of strange. It was 
Wow, man, Amy is like super fast. I ain't complaining, but I'm, I'm not used to it. I keep like running too far. S something about her movements seem to have changed. Either they've, what do you call it, uh, made her stopping distance different. You know, when you're running and you go to slow down, you, you know, you take a couple steps further than, you know, you usually want because of momentum. That's what this feels like. Ooh, sneakers. Ooh, and Maro, too. I'm going to go ahead and put them sneakers on because that's good for uh, your stamina. See, the rarity, armor. It adds a terrain grip of 78.5%, and conditions of good, and durability is at 50%. So, uh, that's good for running on roads. So, I'm going to right click. Actually, uh, this is the same thing. Stamina drain 25%. Yeah, these, they're the same thing. Lock crest, no. Green striped sneakers. It doesn't have a stamina drain on the green striped sneakers. Unless I'm missing it. See, there's a stamina drain percentage uh, on the sneakers. That's one reason why I always put the uh, a those type of sneakers on the green ones uh, because they're good for your stamina. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, recycle these. Hmm. I'll have to check into that. All right. They have moved some of this stuff. I wonder if they're planning on putting something here and just moved it out. I don't know. There used to be like more stuff piled up through here. Yeah, I'm like over, I'm overstepping quite a bit. Oh, pants? Uh, I don't need the sticks. These pants add a lot of weight. Uh, the point forty four pounds, that's how much they weigh. Watch my weight up there at the top. It's 35 pounds. Put these on. It puts it up to 52 pounds. We can go ahead and recycle these as well. Awesome. All right, let's go up here and see how Hanging Hank's doing. Yeah, there used to be more stuff here. Yeah, I'm like overstepping big time, so I'm gonna have to watch that, guys. And you seriously, you would think this hoodie would be more weight, but it's not. Well, we're finding a lot of candles. I'm not complaining, this is kind of unusual. See, 52 pounds, and if I put this on, my weight drop. Oh, wait! What? They changed it! Oh, I'm so happy about that. They must have finally listened to me. Thank you, developers. I appreciate it. I mean, it just makes more sense. Have you ever wore a prison uniform? I've wore a county one before. It's not pleasant. But, I mean, it's like a jumpsuit. You know, it, it, I mean, if anything, it might have a pocket, like right here. And a hoodie has got, like, a huge pocket in the, in the front of it. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm being too realistic. But since that adds more weight, we've already got 70 damn pounds. Woo! See, that's the main thing I watch. Uh, especially in the very beginning. Let's see how our sweet Amy looks. Oh, she looks, she looks pretty hot, actually. She's awful wet, though. We ain't even been outside yet. Okay. Whiplash is wasting time. I'm a talker. Let's see. Ooh, that's even better. That even adds better weight. I think. Let's see. 20, all right, 70.55. Oh, 103. <laughs> yes. This is great, but like I said, we still have to watch. Um... What do you call it? We still have to watch because we don't have any Just armor go. on at all. Well, there's Hanging Hank. Oh, we got we got us another uh, jacket. It's a different color, but it's the same type of what I have on. I'm pretty sure. At least it holds the same amount of weight. I think one has a different thermal rating on it than the other, but it's pretty much the same jacket. 
Oh man, I thought that was a knife for a second. I'm like, whoa, that's pretty awesome. Two more jack... No, Amy, you do that every time, sweetheart. Over here. Green hoodie. Basic jacket. I'm going to keep the basic jackets. They seem to wear. Holy shnikes. Hanging hike looks a little different. He looks scarier down here. I don't know if it's because of the light hitting him or what, but he looks... His eyeballs look lit up. Hanging Hank, how you doing? <laughs> That's so spooky, man. I swear to God, it is it's spooky. Now, I'm going to climb up here. I do it every damn time. It's pretty much a waste of time. I might as well just go ahead and keep doing it, right? They took my chair. What happened to my chair? They took my chair. I just thought it would be kind of cool to, you know, to sit up here and take pot shots with a sniper rifle. It's too high. I mean, you couldn't really do it. Maybe in real life, but not in the game. <laughs> All right, hanging Hank. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of overstepping. Holy, holy crap! Did you see that? Oh my god, he just hung there and looked at me with this deathly freaking stare. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, we're running down the steps. Let's see if I can do Oh, I hit it. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh my, we can still keep it going. Keep it going, Whiplash. Keep it going. We're doing it. I'm getting dizzy. Getting dizzy. <sighs> There's glass out here, too. Was it that window? I don't even remember seeing that window. Man, there's glass up. There's got to be a purpose to this. Yeah, we're doing a lot of overstepping. I'm going to show you when I let go. Forward. Let go. Yeah. I'm going to have to get used to that. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's probably going to throw me off when I'm, uh, I'm shooting zombies. Oh, wait a minute. I want to go ahead and grab some uh, sapling branches. There's a bunch in this area. <coughs> There's even more a little further up the road. You can go up this way. But if you do that, you're going to miss the skeleton. And hopefully they don't ever move that. We could go up this way instead of... I usually walk up this way, right here. There used to be some steps here. And we're going to grab some feathers. Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. There's another one. Okay, I'll go around this corner. Am I? Huh, did they change the... For some reason, I had the run toggled. I wonder how I did that. I'm not really sure how I did that. Okay, usually usually there's freaking zomboids up through here somewhere. Grab the bow and arrow, the backpack and the arrows. Let's see how many we got. Okay, we still have 20. <clears throat> That's fine. We can make more. We just got to get some scrap metal. And the backpack was automatically put on, which took my weight up to 257. Is that a Military 2 backpack? Yes, it is, which is awesome. Alright, here, this is where I'm going to crouch. I don't like blowing my load right off, so... You know, I like to take my little time, you know, pump it up. You know, I never thought one of these days I'm going to stick some zombies over here and they're going to freaking come behind me and bop me on the dang head. Okay. Ooh, there's one. Ooh. Ooh, down for the count. Oh, wow. And they were body shots. I'm hearing bees. Let's step a little closer. These weeds here, they'll hide you, but I've seen these zombies go through these weeds, so they can sneak up on you really quick. Oh, man, that would have been a good shot. Running low on ammo. Oh, we know, Amy. You'll be all right. Come on, we can do this. 
They're not moving. They're just standing there. And even when I hit them, they're not moving. I wonder why. Oh, bummer. Oh. Usually I take these guys out with the bow. And then I go down below to the sheriff's car. And blow my load. Still got one more zombie here. Where's our two? Maybe I'll find something useful. Hell yeah. We can make some Molotovs now. Molotovs are the shit, man. Hmm. Uh, let's use that vicinity button. Make sure. Aha. See, you use that vicinity button when you're picking up your dang arrows. See, he's just. Let's see how close, since there's no other zombies around. I'm not really sure his call will summon the rest What's of them, but here? I, I kind of wish, or I kind of want to see how close I can get to him. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get the arrow, and that arrow. Take call. Got one here. He's not even turning around. Of course, I am crouched. You know, I am sneaking. Let's pop him in the head. Bam! Ooh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm kind of concerned because they didn't stray. The, usually when you walk into the area, they seem to... What was that? Is that an arrow? Something popped up here. Somewhere. Up, oh, see... <laughs> it must have been on him. That's why I say use the vicinity button because it really, it really does help with the arrows, especially when you're grassy terrain like this. Let's go ahead and grab some of these saplings. I guess we can stop being crouched now. Uh, what happened to all the sapling branches? There used to be a bunch through here. That's okay. Active quest and objectives. Welcome to Eden a Deer. Go to Hennaton Fish and Village. Head northwest from your starting position. I'm just now reading this, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Survival Guys. I know, uh, Survival Guide, and this is your map. It's pretty awesome. You can left click and grab and move it around and zoom in with the uh, mouse wheel, which is awesome. Uh, this is you. And here's a little legend right here. It shows you your points of interest. Um, now look at this. I never paid attention to this before, but it, this little shield with the question mark says defense or slash home base. They got the Hamilton Lighthouse marked there. Why would that be your home base when you spawn on the shore? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay. They want you to go towards this question mark. Uh, if you have any curiosity about the things, items that you pick up, they got a lot of useful, helpful information right here in the survival guide. This is pretty, this is pretty awesome. I, I enjoy this part. I haven't read any of this stuff in a while, but it does, some, you know, explain to you what it is. These tabs over here, it's got your side quests, and this is the one that we're on. Click details, it'll pop out here and tell you what you need to do. Next step is go to Hannington Fishing Village. Uh, this breaks down everything that we were just looking at. The items that we picked up. Here's the details if you want to read them. Location. Uh, gives you a... I, I don't, I don't want to say a brief history. It's more like a, telling you what it is. Like the Hannington Lighthouse used to ward off ships from dangerous rocky section of Hannington South Coastline. So on and so forth. And then any wildlife you may encounter. People. Which, I don't know why nothing's popping up there, because... Um, maybe you actually have to meet them. I was going to say, I'm kind of surprised Sheriff Sin is not there, since, you know, we're talking to him on the radio. And enemies. Hmm. A lot of this will probably be in later, you know. Alright, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Lean like that. I'm going to grab some of these sapling branches so we can make some uh, arrows. 
Oh look, some feathers. Uh, I love to run down here to the sheriff's car. Uh, you can get some more whippetry, not necessarily guns, but you can grab a lot of ammo and uh, resources that you need like food, water, scrap metal, plastics, you know, <coughs> all kinds of goodies. Oh look. whole slew of them. Look at there. Come on. Looks like we got one more. Alright, now let's pop down this hill. I'm kind of curious if they made any changes down here. I'm going to crouch just for the sake of Argument. This is usually where I blow my load, guys. Let's see if they've made any changes to the zombies. Okay. Uh, Two, four, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 Okay Whew. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's check our vitals before we do this uh, We can wait <clears throat> We're good. All right, let's blow our load. Here we go Hey, here they all come. These guys should reach me first, but I don't want this one sneaking up on me, so let's go ahead and take care of his. Oh, wow. Reload. Okay, we can do this. We've done it before. Keep an eye on your six. Now usually you can get these guys out of the way before the other ones will reach you. But like I said, when one hollers, yeah, they're all coming at you. Oh, got hit. Got hit. I let them get right in my face, guys. Uh, I'm the kind of fella who don't like to take pot shots out from up there unless I got a sniper rifle. Uh, it took me a while to get to that. They've kind of changed things around. Um, my my method of shooting them in the body doesn't seem to work as well as it used to. But if they come running at you and they get too close, if they're too close, pop them down here and then blow one in their head. Body shot, blow them back then in the head of course if you can get them in the head the first time that's great too but the closer they get to you the harder it is to hit them so make sure you point down towards their knees pop a cap in their knee they'll kind of hesitate and blow back and then pop one in their head seems to work for me so let's gather up mm -hmm. all these goodies. Just junk. And let's go down here. I usually hit the zombies first because uh, this loot will disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not as quick as Nothing. it used to be, but uh, it does disappear. So don't wait too long. Oh, look at them Maltovs. Man, we got seven of them. Maltovs are great. Take, oh, why can't I take this? There it goes. Okay, let's try the hold method. Hold it. Hmm. Nothing. Maybe I'll find something useful. Just okay. junk. The notifications pop up. Awesome. So it does tell me. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I'm not used to that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I'll find something useful. Awesome. See, this is What's why I come here? down here. 
See, look at all this. Maltovs. I'm going to hit the auto manage. I'll sort this out later. It actually looks like it's getting a little bit better. Uh, yeah, this is why I come down here. Plus, you got all these cars for awesome loot. And the sheriff's car's gone. They've changed it. Oh. I didn't even notice it till now. They moved the sheriff's car. What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. they changing the game on a whiplash. Mm. Nothing? Are you kidding me? They changed the quest. That's fine. That's okay. Mm. It's part of the quest, guys. So, um, we'll find out where it is. They probably moved it closer in town. So we had to fight all the damn zombies. Yeah. Dang devs. Alright guys, this right here, plastic. This right here, scrap metal. You got it everywhere. Even this little guy here, if you can grab it, wait till it lights up and then hit it. Uh, sometimes cans are good for scrap metal. Uh, but this is, like I said, this is the reason why I do Maybe all I'll this. Find something useful. You get lots of food. Uh, there's plenty of resources for scrap metal. You can make uh, uh, arrows for your bow if you wish. I just grab a little bit of this plastic. I, I usually don't find myself needing the plastic till a little late, later, like when you get uh, your base established and whatnot. But this is uh, all good resources. I can't believe I didn't notice the sheriff's car wasn't there. Oh my god, now I gotta play up to the sheriff's car. This is gonna drive me insane. I gotta know where the sheriff's car is. <laughs> that was my favorite spot to hit because it was loaded with freaking ammo. And like uh, a lot of times it would have the uh, flak vest if the boat didn't have it. So they changing the game up on old Whiplash, huh? Yeah, smarty pants. Smarty pants. All right, that's okay. Oh look, I missed a, I missed one. Let's see. Ooh, seven raw meat. Uh, let's check our weight. Sixty-two pounds. That's not bad. Thought it'd be worse. Uh, let's check our. Let's see, auto manage. Scrap metal only five. Well, we can't have that. I gotta have more than that. Hmm. What is this? Oh, we can scrap this barbed wire. Yeah, see, this is great for resources. You can get a lot of this stuff along the beach as well. Drop! You can't scrap it? Well, that sucks. I'm just going to drop it. Get off that extra weight. Hmm. We can scrap this. Cycle all of it. Uh... probably hungry and thirsty by now we'll have to wait till that gets done if you're doing anything in the inventory you can't eat or drink so you'll have to wait for it to get done wow can't believe this and these little guys right here this bottle it's alcohol it's kind of small but it's alcohol and you can turn the alcohol into Molotov cocktails all you need is some cloth let's see I'm noticing they've been adding lots of different cars which is kind of cool but I've never really found anything in them some more alcohol uh, alcohol is used to be I think they're starting to change a lot of this but the alcohol used to be heavier See, that's like three and a half pounds right there and the Molotov cocktail is only three pounds so it's still less weight uh, it's still less weight to make the Molotov cocktail. Alright guys, well, um, 30 minutes. <clears throat> you notice guys, I'm not streaming. I'll explain this. So I should have explained it at the beginning of the video and I didn't. I apologize. Uh, I really do enjoy streaming, but I noticed last week, all week long when I was streaming. You're actually pretty close to my house. Hang on. I'll have my colleague activate your starter system map function and mark the location for you. Head over to my place. You should be able to 
Maybe I'll find something useful. Twenty-one screws. Oh, I look there. I see the active quest is actually up in the top right of the screen. I don't know why I didn't pay attention to that. So that's awesome. Check your compass to see your direction of your next objective. Go to Sheriff Sin's house. I wonder if we'll see uh, the car along the way. Did you all move Sheriff Sin's house? Huh? Could have. Never know. Nothing. Just junk. You know, if you really... Oh! Has he been sitting there this whole time and I just not seen him? Let's turn the light on. It's getting dark. Um... Oh, that was an awesome hit. I didn't think it would work. See, one of my goals when I wanted to play this game uh, was to be able to take out a whole horde of zombies with just a bow and arrow. I think that would just be amazing. The gun's awesome, don't get me wrong, but using a bow and arrow to take out all those guys would be amazing. But she doesn't pull back fast enough for that. So maybe that'll happen. Maybe we'll be able to do that like when the skills come into effect and whatnot hmm. <laughs> but I think it'd be kind of cool to finish Let's what see. I was saying Let's see. I think it'd be kind of cool that maybe I'll find something useful the house would change every time for like Sheriff Sin's house and the car would change every time you start a new game that would be cool Not never be in the same spot in other words Hmm. Of course, Nothing. I mean, it It would make people's, each individual that plays it, it would make their, the game might be the same, but their perspective of the game would be different. Each one would be different. Okay, that's some good scrap metal there. It's also pretty heavy, I believe. You can also scrap this, I believe, so we'll recycle that. I probably need to eat. metal pipe we're gonna scrap that too oh come on pop back up there and let's check our vitals okay looks like I'm a little thirsty we got some water well we gotta wait for that to get done because whiplash gets in a hurry oh look we got some rounds at least they were kind enough to leave us a box of ammo I mean because that's the main reason why I always come down here because Sheriff Sin's uh, car was down here and it always had ammo in it so all right let's drink some orange cola all right I think I'm gonna do what I normally do and just run through the weeds and can I make any bandages because we really need to make some bandages crafting Bandages. I'm gonna craft two. There we go. That should give us like 10, I believe, or 20. <clears throat> Still can't believe I don't have a damn flak vest, but that's okay. We'll make. We'll make it. Number five, and let's uh, let's do some healing. I hear them darn bees, and let's get the gun out for prosperity. Let's reload. We got 119 bullets, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's speed this up a little quicker. It's a cool car. Hmm. Uh, maybe I should eat some food. I'm glad we're finding all kinds of drinks. I know here lately, it seems like I always have a hard time finding drinks. All right. Maybe I should take it easy. Maybe the zombies aren't in the same spot this time around. Could be hiding behind the bridge there. 
in the bushes, behind the trees. Okay. Come on. I think there were some sapling branches there. Woohoo! Alright, let's run up yonder. Alright, let's hold up a minute. Let's go to crafting. Pairs. Max that out. 34. That's pretty good. We'll make them all. Alright, guys. Now, typically, what I do is I run down through the weeds. Um, still got my weapon handy. Looks like the zombies are spawning. Don't give them any time to walk. You see them spawn, start running. You notice that when you're in these bushes, that little eyeball pops up and you are supposedly in cover. Doesn't mean they won't see you, but you're less likely to be seen. So I just plow through the daggone weeds. And there you go. Usually when I get to the creek here, I take a little pause and let my stamina gather. Let's eat one of these breakfast bars. Check our vitals. Not too shabby. Breakfast bars kind of make you thirsty. Not too bad, but... Alright. Now through here. Keep an eye on the rocks. Don't, don't worry about the zombies unless you hear them yell. If you hear them yell, then you can worry. Until you hear them yell, just keep running. There you go. Now it should be in the clear for a moment. Alright. Awesome. Walk it off. Let the stamina read gin. I'm curious. I am really curious what that damn car is now. Alright, stamina's almost back. I think I'm going to go down a little further. Sometimes I walk through there, but I think I'm going to go a little bit further. I think I have a little bit better luck down here. Wait till you get to the second set of rocks. And then go up. And like I said, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but you see all the trash along the beach? There's all kinds of resources there. Scrap metal. Uh, plastics. Garbage. Garbage used to be my favorite spot because that's where I'd find duct tape, but I haven't found duct tape and garbage in quite some time. So, look, more sapling branches. Bunch through here. My lordy bee. Now, I would take a little, little bit of precaution walking through here. I've never seen any zombies through here, but there used, there used to be a bunch in this area by the bus. I think they moved them down further uh, south. Yeah, down by that light pole. Ah, oh, got caught. There we go. Crouch. 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 See them down there? usually walk through here sometimes there's a zombie down <clears throat> uh, behind this house so make sure you stay in these weeds for a minute make sure you scout the area before you plow through here all right now I kind of would like to see whether or not I can sneak up there like I did last time and just activate the quest and turn around and sneak back out just to save some ammo. You're welcome to do it how you want. You can kill all the zombies, but you end up having to come back to Sheriff Sin's house. So there's no point in blowing your load twice.
So if you can sneak up here without disturbing the zomboids the first time, I would suggest it for that reason. may have to knock out one or two but usually I do it quietly with the bow I'm not really sure if the what do you call it the gun alerts them or not there we go that's all you got to do Okay, so the quest is the same, but it's 135 meters this way, so it's probably down here by the church. Mm, let's let's look at the map. Yep. Now this church has got a bunch of zombies. There's a bunch of zombies here, and there's a bunch of zombies here. You could try going around the free zone. Either way, you're going to have to deal with the zombies. But I'm wondering if we can find us a way to sneak around. We're going to follow this wall. If we alert them, we alert them. That's just the way it is. I see one right there. He's actually behind the wall. Let's crouch. I'm not going to shoot him. I think I'm going to take the bow and try to shoot him. They're all huddled right there. There's no way I'm getting past them without alerting them. Maybe. Let's try. Let's get the gun out because if I do alert them, I want to be able to act quickly, and you can't really do that with the bow. So let's let's walk past them and see what happens. Up, oh, they they saw me. Oh, belly shot, belly shot. Run, Amy girl. I like to be out in the open. Okay, they're coming this way. We might as well. Well, maybe we can outrun them. Dup dig, you can. I don't know where he was. Look at them, they're all fighting. None of them are heading this way. They must have got tied up. Okay, so the sheriff's car is this way. Let's get behind the wall again. I think I could have done that a little bit better, guys. I really do. Um, I didn't realize. I missed the one. I think he was behind the bus, but I missed him. Okay, Dom's hardware alarm is going off. Okay. Crouch. I don't know if he sees me. Well, let's just go out here. What the hell? My gun wouldn't raise. We're going to have to suck down a bandage here in a minute. I got it out of that. That tree was messing me up. Yeah, those guys are still coming. Those guys are still coming. Let's reload. I got a feeling we're going to have more to contend with down here. Oh, wow, they got it all blocked off. Oh, it's down here by the liquor store. So we're going to end up taking out the whole town because I believe those guys are still heading this way. Oh, let's see if they can get over this. Oh, they ran right through it. Okay. on the ammo light them up shoot them down I think I need a reload I lucked out let's take a bandage come on Amy girl That was different. That was nerve-wracking. What was that? That gun, I thought that was like a flying vulture. I saw that shadow and I started freaking out. See that? Do you see it? I think it's supposed to be like the shadow of a tree or something. 
All right, let's see what we Maybe got I'll here. Maybe I'll find something useful. Right now, sweetheart, you ain't finding nothing. Let's see. What's in here? Nothing. Maybe I'll find something useful. Money, money, money. Hmm. I can't even buy a candy bar with that. Just junk. <clears throat> Let's see if we can walk through that. I thought for sure that... Oh, it actually broke it. That was cool. Let's do it again. Hear it snap? Y'all probably didn't hear it, but that was cool. Let's see. Okay, so... Okay, I guess those zombies got tied up. So here's the sheriff's car. Uh... It's lagging really bad, so what's... Oh, the key's in the back now. A telescoping baton. What in the Sam places? And then you got the key. And a military military grade right, one backpack. Assuming you find the key, you should be able to get back to my place and unlock the basement. There's a rifle and a couple of sidearms plus a fair amount of ammo. Okay, Sheriff Sin, thank you, my friend. Let's check our uh, vitals real quick. I'm a thirsty. I figured I was one of the two. Let's have a orange cola. Sounds delicious. I used to drink Sunkissed all the time when I was a kid. I probably couldn't handle it now. I'm not too big of a fan of pop. What was all that about? What was all that about? So we got a baton. What's this baton all about? Telescoping baton. A telescoping baton is one of the tactical impact weapons widely applied in law, law enforcement. It also named as an expandable baton, police baton, a truncheon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but or a club, billy jack, etc. Damage is, I would like to say that's 125%, but I think it's actually 12.5. <laughs> uh, so it probably blows booty. I'm afraid. You know, it'd be nice to try it out on one zombie. But usually when you run into zombies, you got ten of them. And I'm not complaining. I like the zombies. I like, you know, the challenge of killing them all. <clears throat> but you can't do it with a baton. Now, if it was a one-on-one -on -one battle, like if you had them sporadically, uh, you know, sporadically throughout the world to be a little different where you can actually take one or two on at a time but when you're taking on ten of them at a time a baton just ain't gonna freaking do it uh, so let's get the whip tree back out I'm not even sure a bat would do it oh there's one stuck in the truck here where he's behind the truck can we climb up this oh we can I think he's actually in the truck. This is cool. Don't forget, if you come down here, they're going to be zombies. Oh, look at them all. So can they get past the truck? I don't know. They seen me. I'm not crouched, though. They can probably climb up here. There's something in the middle that kind of stops you. Everybody now. Alright guys. Looks like one's climbing the tree up there. Oh seriously look at it. Oh no that's a tree. I seriously thought that was a daggone zombie humping the tree. Or the te telephone pole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whiplash is bad. So, I'll figure out a way past them. That was my first time I tried that. <clears throat> but you got to remember, if you kill them all, most likely, I've not tried this, but most likely if you kill them all on the way to the sheriff's house, 
you're gonna have to kill them on the way back as well because they'll respawn most likely I don't know that for fact we're gonna have to try that someday I do not know that for fact like all these guys down here by the bus I'm pretty sure they'll respawn if you kill all the guys here at the church doesn't look like they've respawned but I'm, I'm pretty sure that the guys down here by the yellow bus would respawn because it's further away all right let's let's quit wasting time because uh, we're gonna have to kill all these guys I've got 94 bullets we're gonna have to kill these guys and the guys in front of Sheriff Sin's house it's not really that necessary if you can get past them we'll do but uh, you know we got one Oh man, that was a, that would have been a good shot, but he moved. Oh, you little shyster. Tried to quarterback sneak. You see that? He tried to quarterback sneak. No quarterback sneak in the day, Pedro. Sit still. What's up? Bam. Down for the count. Come on, get it. Get What's it. In here? We got one buck. Now we got two bucks and we can buy a candy bar. Hmm. You know, I remember when candy bars were 26 cents. Isn't that bad? When they went up to 50 hmm. cents, killed me. Thought I was going to die. We'll find something useful. Got another buck. Nothing. Now we can buy king size. Hmm. I don't know. I think this is faster. Let's see. I guess I've just got used to it. I don't know. This just to Let's me see seems here. faster. <laughs> gotta hold that button too long. I'm too impatient. <laughs> oh, where we at? We're at an hour. So let's go up here. Let's kill these dudes off, guys. And uh, let's go ahead and take a bandage. Cause I'm probably gonna get hit at least once. <clears throat> we got 25 health. Should I take another one? Why not? Let's take another one. Um, a whipper tree. We got 78 bullets left. And let's go ahead and check and see. Uh, the repair condition is pretty good. The Cedar 22 is pretty good weapon. I think that. Is it called the 350? It's something 350. I don't know. Whatever that one is, it's it's got pretty good kick on it. Blows them away a lot better, I believe. The handgun. Now, once we get the AK in here, we don't even have to mess with these guys, really. They haven't noticed me yet. So we can go in here without wasting ammo. It's not really wasting ammo if you kill them. It's just, if you don't need to, why why do it, you know? Improvised health kit. We got some. We got some good stuff. But they can remember, guys. They can. Oops, I turned it on. They can open doors. So, with that said, that's one reason why I like to kill them all because you don't have to worry about them plowing through the door here and take you out in the house. Because it would be easy for them to pin you and trap you against the wall. I don't think, I'm not sure they'll walk down here because they're further away. Alright, so let's go down here. Ba boom, ba da bing. Oh, it opened. Thanks, Sheriff. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, Coca Cola. This even looks different. Is this a bookshelf? You know what would be really awesome? If you could walk up to this bookshelf and click one of these buttons and this open up. 
and be some secret room back there maybe for later on in the game that would be cool oh look a c911 and there's a key you can't hardly see it guys I'll just hit this see the key there with all the other that's the vicinity button I love sometimes it shows you things that uh, you didn't realize were there see this happened to me before the vicinity button it's not really showing everything and these guys oh actually let me pick them up aha I got them all all right well that was pretty awesome I'm, I'm kind of glad they moved the sheriff's car just to be different you know that's pretty awesome Maybe I'll find something useful. Kind of throws off my game at the beginning, you know, my plans. But, you know, plans can change. And sometimes for the better. You know, you just, you just never know. All right. So, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Um, uh, maybe I should get away from the sheriff's house before I actually... We got to go to Dom's Hardware, right? Let's check this real quick. I'm pretty sure. Visit Dom's Hardware Shop in Hannington. Yes, so that's our next stop. So let's load up the AK because we got a boatload of bullets, right? And I'm also going to hit that H button so it only shoots single shot instead of like Rambo shooting up in the air because he's pissed off. Okay. Uh, there is goodies upstairs. Uh, usually I don't find much, but there are goodies up here. I mean, food. The cans you can't use without a can opener, and I don't believe I've picked up a can opener just yet. But I mean, look, there's fruits here. You can always. Uh, ooh, more ammo. Hell yeah. You can always use the fruits for uh, Mr. Ed, if anything, once you get him. I've not rode Mr. Ed in so long. I don't forgot what it felt like. Oh, this is cool. Alright, I think I'm going to run down here to the beach and let you guys go. That's not too bad of a first day. What time is it? It's 6 o'clock in the morning. So, in the day, in a roundabout fashion. And about 24 hours of gameplay. Not real game time play. Or not real life. Real gameplay. I'm saying this all wrong. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Alright, let's scroll down through here. Woohoo. Y'all can't catch me. Catch me if you can. About ready to run out of breath, I think. So that was pretty awesome. I'm liking it so far. Actually, nothing seemed bugged or screwed up or anything. It actually played rather well. All right, guys. I guess old Whiplash is gonna let you go. Um, we'll head on to Dom's Hardware on the next uh, episode. And uh, remember what I said. Uh, this is a staging branch, and um, this is my. Uh, uh, Joe testing builds phase whatever you want to call it I'll think of a fancy name one day but maybe I won't <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the episode uh, if you did hit that like button for me guys and if y'all want to see more subscribe to the channel everyone have a beautiful day and God bless <laughs>